Hello, so on this video we'll be doing the Hadrian Cycleway NCN 72 uh, Officially you start from Ravenglass but uh, the path around the Sellafield area is out of action so I will be starting in Whitehaven after getting the train from Carlisle across to Whitehaven I'll be overnighting in Carlisle because that's where I live and then continuing camping somewhere halfway between here Carlisle and South Shields and then I'll catch the train back to Carla once I've completed it. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. So enjoy the video. Good morning. We're in a blustery Whitehaven for the start of the Hadrian Cycleway. We're gonna head north up the coast and then cut inland east towards Carlisle, hopefully later on today, but I'll bring you back along the way. back towards Whitehaven and Parton and we've just climbed out of Lauka. Now we're picking up the Hadrian Cycleway. This is four miles out of Whitehaven. Another four, we'll see us in Workington. This way. Sun is trying its best to get out. We had a little bit of rain just as we left sort of Parton. Well, there isn't. That's gone to nothing, but uh, it is trying. So hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine along this route today. But all good at the moment, all off-road. Put the cycle away, so all is good. Cycleway to the left, Reavers straight on. Yeah, so when you're coming out of Workington, just make sure you bear left and not right because that'll take you towards Cockermouth. We're heading sort of towards the coast and then down to Maryport.
Yeah, I don't know if you can hear us in this wind, but we've just stopped north of Maryport, just take five, looking across towards Scotland on the promenade here. But, uh, I'm just going to rehydrate for five. I've done about 15 miles so far, so I just rest the backside. I think I need to adjust my saddle slightly, just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, just take five. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're supposed to come through the middle of this golf course, but I have. I think you are. Okay. No, I was on the right uh, route. You do come through the golf course because it's signed back through there. And we follow this. I'm heading Silla for 15 miles, so I'll probably stop there for some lunch. Got a lovely, smooth bit of tarmac next to the main road here. Nice and straight, nice and smooth, perfect. When the sun's out, what more can you ask for, eh? Yeah, it sends you up uh, from the coast, up round by the farms and at one stage I thought, oh, I'm going down a farmer's lawn in here, but then I seen the cycle track so I thought, oh yeah, it must be the right way. But basically it just avoids the main road, you can continue on the main road, but yeah, this just takes you off the main road and makes it a lot more pleasurable than just silly. Okay, so that's me all fed. The, the Fairy Dust Emporium. Well worth. Good food. Nice coffee. But uh, yeah, I'm full now, so <laughs> I need to burn these calories off. But yeah, looking across the Solway into Scotland. So now we're going to be leaving the coast and heading inland and east towards, I think, sort of Abbey Town, Kirkbride and then I follow the coast from Bruff round into Carlisle, so bring you back along the route. Leeds Liverpool Canal when we left Skipton we come across a memorial um, some Polish airmen crashed beside the canal uh, on the side of Skipton um, and these are the old airfield buildings in use today yeah. so uh, there's quite a few of them dotted about the place some over there some over there so obviously this was far away from London so they were pretty safe up here but yeah I just thought I would piece it together because I did mention the airfield was silly fun this is silly airfield also. what's left of it in here from 
Abbey, Abbey Town. And the sun's showing itself now. A beautiful afternoon. But uh, we're going to push on, keep going. I'm going to stop about another five mile down the road and take a breather. Keep doing it in sort of 10 mile segments and stop them. St John's Church, Newton Arlosh, but uh, yeah, as you can see, quite light today. I don't have the back bag, I'll need that tomorrow because obviously tonight I'm stopping in my house when I get back to Carlisle, that's where I live and then tomorrow I'll continue, I'll have the extra bag on so I've just got a few bits and bobs in here, bits of food and stuff waterproofs and I've got to see, I'm going to give me chain a bit of a wipe because it feels a bit dry put my jacket in here I'm going to give this a little bit of lubrication because it feels a little dry Headwind for about two or three miles till we turn the point and then head back east again. So it is what it is. Just keep pushing on. Right, we're in the village of Amphorn, just stopped for a drink. Take five. Oh, it's a bit windy. So yeah, I'm gonna have a headwind till I get round the point and then I start coming back east again, but uh, nothing I can do about that. But, uh, still a lovely afternoon. As you more you go in, it's a bit cloudier, but the coast seems to be a bit sunnier, so... Looking over towards the lakes there, but they're all shrouded in cloud, unfortunately. So get a bit further then we start to turn and come back inland and that's when I'll have a tailwind because the tide is coming in. You see with the clouds the way they're whipping across. There must be a bird's nest down here. Oh <laughs> something kicked off. Yeah so this was probably an old runway at some stage in its life. World War Two. Uh, what an afternoon! It's quite beautiful. So we're heading tomorrow in that sort of direction. They can just see the hills there, and the hills there. We go between the two of them, the Tyne Valley. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, Maryport 26, Ravenglass 55. Ball's end, 84. You can just see the end of that fired up from this side now. And across, across there. Right, we're going to push on, we're just into Bowness on Solway. And then we'll uh, head back towards Carlisle. Okay, the start of the Roman wall walk. Bonus. Hadrian's wall path. Should be a stamper in there, but <laughs> oh, there's the there's the Solway viaduct. There it is there, look. In 1869. Yeah, the viaduct was closed again in 21 after being judged unsafe by engineers. 
The bridge was finally demolished in 1935. And all that remains is the two ends, as what we've seen before. Yep, yeah, so tomorrow we'll be heading this way. I'm thinking maybe stopping somewhere around Stocksfield or before maybe Corbridge. And then I'll finish off on Wednesday. Well, I think I'll go to South Shields. Right, onwards. So this is where I finish. I will pick up tomorrow from here. But I live up this way and back over the bridge. So join me tomorrow for part two and I hope you've enjoyed part one. <laughs>